Hi, my friends and followers. I'm your lawyer, Patrick McGinn, and I am your best friend at your worst time. Coming to you from Daytona Beach, Florida. I get asked a lot of questions to look at a lot of cases. So I looked at this one. Somebody sent me this case a week or so ago, and I saw it on TV. It is the arrest of Justin Timberlake for DUI in the Hamptons in Long Island, New York. And what is different about Justin Timberlake's arrest than any other DUI arrest I've ever seen? The only thing that's really different is it involves Justin Timberlake. And there is an awesome, awesome mug shot. His mug shot is probably the best mug shot I have ever seen. It's more like a publicity photo. So if you ever need publicity photos, go to the Southampton Police Department and have them take your mug shot. But I got the arrest report here. It's pretty basic. It's 99% of the cases I see that involve DUI have this exact same information in it. I can, I can read this to you in my sleep. Basically, he gets stopped for running the stop sign and failure to maintain a single lane, which is driving straight in a single lane. And he gets stopped. Glassy blood, he has glassy bloodshot eyes, slurred speech, smell of alcohol. That's in all of them. Uh, they proceed into standardized field sobriety tests, whether they take them or not, whatever. Everybody does poorly. I've never seen anybody get arrested for DUI that did well on their uh, standardized field sobriety tests. And then it goes into the testing, whether or not they take the breath test, or whether they refuse or not. But this is what you see in practically every single DUI case at least that I get in the state of Florida, they're all the same. I mean, they could print out the same arrest form and use it for everybody. It is that that close. The only thing they have to change is whether or not they take the roadside test and whether or not they take the breathalyzer test. That's usually the only thing that's different. You can leave a blank line where the traffic violation goes in. Sometimes it's running a stop sign. Sometimes it's I order to maintain a lane, speeding, accident, careless driving, reckless driving, running off the road, anything like that. Uh, fill in your, your traffic infraction du jour. The observations are always the same. It's always glassy, bloodshot eyes, slurred speech, difficult to understand, can't find their driver's license, something like that. Smell of alcohol is on all of them, or the smell of an alcoholic beverage. They actually train them to say, the smell of alcoholic beverage emanating from their person or from their breath. That's what they train them to say here in Florida, not that they smell alcohol directly. And that gives them, you know, the reasonable suspicion to go ahead and go into the standardized field sobriety test, which is the eye test and the walk the line and the, uh, the finger to nose and the alphabet and the one legged stand and all that all that stuff and you know they take up paragraphs and paragraphs some of them are check the box forms but it's basically the same DOI arrest i see all the time it's the same one i see in all my cases and uh anybody that gets arrested for DUI, their case is pretty much going to be the same what you have to look for is there's a lot more in here than the arrest report that goes along with the case the arrest report is what the officer says happened at the time it's the government's best story as to what happens at the time there's also other other documents that go along with it. A lot of these cases have video. I haven't seen a DUI video in Justin Timberlake's case, but a lot of them have DUI video either in dash, in car video, or body camera video, sometimes both. And then there's uh, test reports, field sobriety, exercise test reports, and all that kind of stuff, implied consent forms that go along with it. Basically, you have to look at all that as a whole to evaluate the case. Florida, Florida is very specific on their DUI. It's a very routinized process. It's almost, you can almost memorize it once you've seen it or done it long enough. So that's it. Nothing really special about Justin Timberlake's arrest other than great mugshot. And then it involves somebody other than me and you that happened to make the news. Have a good one. I uh, hope you had a good 4th of July. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will bring on, I'm starting to do more long form content. I uh, get a lot of questions, a lot of requests to do more long form content other than the short videos I do going to and from court. So I'm trying to get that, squeeze those in uh, as best I can. Be careful out there. Be safe.